Hey guys, it's Ben, and today I'm finally presenting a new twisty puzzle design, the Praxicopter 3. It is a cubic shape mod of a face-turning rhombic dodecahedron with many interesting properties. As the name of the puzzle suggests, it is based on a curvy copter 3, which is an edge turning cube and also equivalent to a face turning rhombic dodecahedron. So in this puzzle, there are 12 turnable axes. However, six of these axes are located on the faces of the cube, and the other six are located on edges of the cube. So we have these sort of face turns like this. And we also have these edge turns like this. The transformation bears resemblance to that of Andrew Cormier's Praxis Cube in that the cuts are rotated 60 degrees around a corner like this. And I think this makes the puzzle look very beautiful. Because of this, the puzzle can shapeshift due to the geometry. But this shape-shifting only really occurs on these face-centered layers, because the other axes, since they're located on an edge, give no shape-shifting at all. So the only parts that would shape-shift are within these face layers. This sort of middle belt of pieces around here will never change shape because those pieces only move with the edge centered layers. However, just like any other puzzle based on an edge turning cube, this jumbles. So we can turn one layer part way like this so it's less than 180 degrees and turn on another layer. And this results in bandaging and even more changed shape. So here we can jumble on two adjacent face layers like you just saw. We can also jumble between a face and edge layer like this. And each one of these results in different sorts of shape shifting. And then of course we can also jumble between two adjacent edge layers. But interestingly, the jumbling move is not made like this where you turn this up. Instead, you must turn it down in order for the jumbling to begin. And of course the jumbling can get totally mixed up. By scrambling the puzzle with the jumbling moves, it can actually result in even more shape shifting that would normally be possible. And as an example of this, if I turn this layer like this, and then this layer like this, I can now turn this layer in the middle. So this is a jumbling move. Then when I turn the layers back, you can see that this piece is completely out of its orbit. 
So before, like I mentioned, this middle layer of pieces would never change shape because it's all in a single orbit. But by doing jumbling moves, it allows these pieces to leave their orbits. And this results in, of course, more shape shifting than would be possible with just 180 degree turns. So that makes this puzzle very interesting. The puzzle turns very, very well, by the way. It's extremely smooth and very nice. I designed this puzzle in SolidWorks, had it 3D printed from iMaterialize in their polyamide, which is basically the same as Y-Strong Flexible material. I dyed it black using RIT dye and stickered it with these wonderful stickers from Oliver. Thank you very much for that. So there's one last thing that I thought I'd show with this puzzle, and that is what it looks like scrambled. So what you're looking at right now is the puzzle scrambled without any jumbling moves, and you can see that the shape shifting only occurs in those particular layers that I was talking about. And now what you can see here is the puzzle scrambled with the jumbling moves. So you can see the drastic shape shifting that occurs here because many of those pieces that were originally stuck in those orbits are now moved out of them. And then finally right here is the puzzle scrambled with the bandaged jumbling and as you can see it's incredibly confusing. It's difficult to even tell what parts are bandaged and what are free to turn. So this puzzle looks really crazy when it's scrambled. This puzzle is actually available on my iMaterialize shop. Um, you can follow the link in the description of this video and it will take you to the page where you can order this puzzle. The details on ordering can be found there. So that's pretty much it for the Praxicopter 3. I hope you like the puzzle, and thanks for watching.